Hey, what's going on? My future data wizards and truth seekers. So you've heard the hype, right? Data analyst, your golden ticket to a six figure salary, the sexiest job of the 21st century. Every other person, especially here in India, is rushing to upskill, join a boot camp, and grab this dream role. But what if I told you that for a lot of people, this dream is looking more like a carefully crafted well? Let's just call it a misunderstanding for now. Are you really going to be the next data detective or are you signing up for something else entirely? Let's uncover the truth. You've aced that course, polished your resume, landed the data data analyst gig. You're imagining yourself presenting game-changing insights to the CEO, right? The reality check? For many, it's less strategic genius and more chief Excel magician, or as I like to call it, the emergency report generator. Companies say they want to be data-driven, but many haven't laid the actual groundwork. The clean data, the right tools, the clear strategy. So guess who becomes the human stopgap? You. Forget those calm, focused, deep dives you imagined. Your day is often a relentless barrage of can you just requests? Can you just pull this one number? That takes three hours of data cleaning. Can you just whip up this dashboard for the marketing team? Using data that's messier than a teenager's bedroom. Can you just explain why these numbers don't match again? It's constant firefighting, endless data janitor work, and you're patching up leaky pipes with duct tape, not architecting a new water system. That analysis part? Oh, that's for 10% of your time if you're lucky, after you've wrestled the data into submission. Now, let's talk expectations versus salary. This is where it gets really interesting. The job ad whispers sweet nothings about Python, R, advanced analytics, maybe even a touch of ML. But the paycheck? Purely analyst. They want a data scientist's brain and skill set, but on a junior analyst's budget. Sound familiar? It's like ordering a full thali, but only wanting to pay for the pickle. This isn't just a Western problem. It's rampant everywhere, especially where the talent pool is vast and eager. Okay, okay, before you think I'm a total pessimist, let's be fair. As a starting point, especially straight out of college, a data analyst role can be a decent launch pad. You learn the absolute basics. You understand how businesses actually use or misuse data. You get that first crucial line on your CV. In a smaller, nimble company, you might even get to wear multiple hats in a good way and see your impact. But, and this is a big butte, if you're not careful, that launch pad can turn into a career coal de sac. You get pigeonholed into generating the same damn reports, your learning curve flatlines, and while the tech world zooms ahead with new tools and techniques, you're still wrestling with that ancient internal reporting system. That sexy job starts feeling a lot like a dead-end data entry gig with a fancier title. You're busy, but are you growing? Are you valued? Listen, if any of this is making you squirm in your seat, if you're that person drowning in ad hoc requests and feeling like your brain is turning to SQL flavored mush, hear me loud and clear, it's not just you. This is a systemic issue born from hype, under-resourcing, and sometimes, let's be frank, a bit of corporate delusion. All right, this is where you come in. I want the unadulterated truth in the comments. Is the data analyst title a golden opportunity, a necessary evil, or a straight up scam in your experience? Spill the chai. Remember, the label on the job doesn't define your potential. Equip yourself with knowledge, ask the tough questions, and don't be afraid to demand what you're worth. This isn't about scaring you, it's about empowering you. Now go out there and build a career that's no scam, but the real deal. Stay sharp, stay curious, and I'll see you on the flip side.